Hi everybody, today uh, I'm gonna walk you through what I eat in a day on high fat carnivore. I'm Anita from ketogenicwoman.com where I share keto and carnivore recipes and other cooking ideas that have helped me to lose over 130 pounds. If you're new here, welcome. I hope you check out some of my other videos and my website. Returning subscribers, welcome back. I hope you like today's video. Okay, today is the first what I eat in a day video that I've done this year and it's already almost the middle of January. I just can't believe how fast the month is going. So uh, I'm still doing high fat carnivore, which basically means I am shooting for 80% fat every day in the form of, of animal fats. Uh, butter, tallow, um, lard, you know, all that kind of thing. So with that in mind, this a uh, couple of days ago, I made carnivore shepherd's pie and I am going to have that for my first meal of the day. Now, technically I already had something. I had butter coffee, um, but it was very early and it was, it, you know, hadn't got out all the equipment yet. Um, so you'll see a little clip up there of the butter coffee. It's really, it's just a tablespoon of butter whipped up with my Aero Latte and that's pretty much it. There's nothing else in there. So um, let's go with the first real meal, the actual food meal. Um, I made this carnivore shepherd's pie uh, and I've discovered my favorite way to eat it now. Um, this is what it looks like out of the fridge. It's, it's uh, sliceable, it's firm, but I've uh, discovered that what I really like is to have it a bit warmed up and you'll see why in a moment. So I am putting it in there and I am going to just run to the microwave. It's going in for 30 seconds. So when you microwave this dish, some of the fat will, will melt. Oh, I need to add a little bit of salt. So what this tastes like now and has the texture of is meatloaf with mashed potatoes mixed in, which is something I really loved as a kid. You know, leftover meatloaf mixed up with mashed potatoes. Now, I haven't had mashed potatoes in a long time, so it's quite possible that my brain is just like, yeah, that tastes like mashed potatoes, but I think it tastes like mashed potatoes and meatloaf. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is absolutely delicious. And uh, next time I make this, I'm making it with ground beef. This one was made with ground turkey. I'm gonna link that recipe below or it was my last video, my last recipe video. Maybe some of you already watched it, but um, so good. So I have, I'm gonna eat this. I have a bunch of errands to run this morning. I will be back for my meal number two uh, in a few hours. So uh, see you then. Okay, so I am back and uh, I ran all my errands and now I'm going to have my second meal of the day. It's going to be a super high fat meal, very small in volume because I'm actually not that hungry. And I wanna show you, like part of it is going to be my usual afternoon butter drink which involves my unflavored element. So uh, it's perfect because this video is actually sponsored by Element today. And so I'm gonna take a moment to tell you what Element is and then we're gonna make my butter drink and I'm going to show you my cod liver lunch. So what is Element? It's a super tasty drink that contains everything you need, which is a science-backed formula of 1,000 milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium, and 60 milligrams of magnesium. I use this to balance my electrolytes, which has been an ongoing problem for me for a long time. 
Because it's World Carnivore Month though, I am not using any sweeteners this month. I haven't had a single sweetener, so I'm using the raw, unflavored version of Element. They have some amazing flavors, but this is what I'm using this month. So I'm gonna show you my Element Butter Drink. Um, but first I just wanna say that right now, Element is offering to my viewers this free sample pack with any purchase from their website. It contains all eight of the flavors, so you can try them out, you can give them to a friend to introduce them to electrolytes, whatever you want to do with it. To get your free sample pack, go to drink, element.com slash ketogenic woman. That's D-R-I-N-K-L-M-N-T dot com slash ketogenic woman. The link is going to be on the screen. It's also going to be below so you can just click on it. And now I'm going to show you how I make my butter drink. So in this drink is one package of the raw unflavored element. If you're doing sweeteners, the other ones only have stevia extract, so you can use any of the flavors. Chocolate's really good, <laughs> but unflavored. And I am putting in two tablespoons of unsalted uh, butter, because this, this is salty. So unsalted butter going in my cup. This is going in my cup. Okay, so I've got my little arrow latte. And I have some freshly boiled hot water. So now, if you're using something like this, I have seen some people on YouTube uh, get it all over their counter. <laughs> um, and the, certainly the first couple of times I tried mine, I got it all over the counter. So I'm only going to fill my mug half full to give it some room to kind of whip up. So the other trick I want to show you about this, don't turn this on until it is in there. Like don't turn it on and then put it in, you're going to get it everywhere. So put it in your mug, which is half full. And I do advise if it's your first couple of times to do it over the sink. <laughs> so I'm going to turn mine on and then we'll see where if the camera can get this. So keep your, um, the spinning part very close to the surface of your liquid. And that is going to have a much better whipping action, I guess. So whip it to the point where you think it's nice and frothy enough, and then you can turn it off and add the rest of your liquid. You can certainly do this with coffee or tea or any other type of drink that, that you like. So, so here's the butter water. Some people put cinnamon on. You can, you know, do what you like with it. I'm keeping things plain and simple this month. I'm gonna take a sip before I start. Ah, cheers. Okay, so now that we have the Element Butter Water done, I'm gonna show you my cod livers. I ordered a whole case of these. Uh, this is small in volume. I'm only going to have half a can and save the other half for tomorrow. It may be small in volume, but it is quite the powerhouse of nutrition with omega-3s. Now you can see there's a lot of liquid. I'm going to go drain that off. The cod liver is packed in its own oil. I just haven't yet figured out whether I want to consume the oil or not. Uh, I'm sure that some do. So I'm going to take about half of this, put it in my bowl here. Yeah, that's about right. So as you can see, it's 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 not much, but like I said, I'm, I'm not in the least bit hungry. I'm gonna put the rest in here for tomorrow. So I know, I know that a lot of you are kind of going ew, um, but I, let me tell you this, it does not taste like liver. It does not taste fishy. Now I keep all my canned fish in the fridge. Uh, I find that way when they're cold, fresh, straight out of the fridge, they, they have way less of any type of taste. Um, it, they're quite edible. So, oh, and also if you're doing high fat carnivore, um, I believe this, I'll put the macros up, but I, I, I believe this is uh, like 90, 10. So it's 90% fat. It is so good. Like I, I just absolutely love this. And I'm just, I'm gonna finish this right here on camera cause I just love it so much. 
Mm, 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 mm. I don't know what it tastes like. I can't even describe it. I'm going to save this one for tomorrow and uh, have it, you know, maybe with something. I, I just sometimes in the middle of the day, I'm just not that hungry. And so half a can of that and all the, there's actually in a half a can, there's like 200 calories. So, and then there's 200 calories in here. So I'm, I'm having a 400 calorie lunch, even though it doesn't, you know, look like, look like much. This is it. Uh, I'm gonna go and enjoy my uh, Element Butter Drink. And then uh, I'll be back later for my uh, last meal of the day. So we'll, we'll see you in the next segment. Okay, so I am back. I'm ready to eat dinner. Uh, so my day today, I, I actually got a lot done. I took Teddy for a walk. I ran my errands and I, made something. I had this idea for a recipe and uh, I made it deep fried tripe. <laughs> um, tastes like calamari. So if you're a fan of calamari, I don't know if I'm going to put this on YouTube or not. Maybe I will if people want me to put it on YouTube because I don't know what, you know, like do people still eat tripe? It's uh, apparently, you know, not something that most people eat. Um, but I had some leftover from my recipe the other day. So there it is. I think it looks really good and it's very crunchy. And uh, I had some and I love it. So that was that. Uh, I also, I tried to get salmon bellies today. Uh, I bought a pack of salmon bellies a couple of weeks ago. And I absolutely love them. It was the first time I had them. They are 88% fat, but they're really good for you. They're from the underside of the salmon and the fish person. What do they call it? Fishmonger? The people who work behind the fish counter, uh, they slice them into long strips and uh, they leave the skin on. It's got all the fat and they sell it like that. And, uh, and so I you know, made, I had it several times last week. Today I went and they didn't have any raw salmon belly. They only had cooked. Um, and I thought, okay, I'll, I'll buy it just so I can have some for my dinner tonight. Um, so here's, here's what it looks like. But I try, I'm, I'm kind of disappointed. I, I, it's nowhere near as good as what I made. I tried just a little bite when I first got home before. It's overcooked, it's dry, and uh, they took the skin off. <laughs> like, yeah. you know, so I, you know, the macros of these are gonna be totally different, but you know, I have them now, I have to use them. I'm, uh, I, I'm going to smother them in hollandaise sauce. So I'm going to um, weigh out my three ounces that I had planned to have. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do about the macros because I have to figure it out without the skin. Okay, so got my three ounces. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm going to, uh, you know, they left little remnants of the skin on. But anyways, I gotta stop whining, whining, whining. And just, <laughs> I, I own them now. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put hollandaise. Now this is um, cold from the fridge, so it is firm, but you can see it's actually very spreadable. I almost think this would be a good mayonnaise because look at it, it just spreads so nice straight from the fridge. It's very silky. And what I've been doing um, over my egg yolks and, and whatnot is I just put the hollandaise on top, even though it's it's cold and firm, and then this will go this will go in the microwave for uh, 10 or 15 seconds. I think this one I'll do 15 seconds because there's more here, and then it just kind of warms gently and uh, melts over the fish. Um, what some people have said is they put their jar of hollandaise in a, a hot bowl of water to kind of soften it up. I actually quite like love it cold. So, you know, it's, uh, I, would eat, I would eat it hot or cold, soft or firm. It is so good. I will link that below where I made it. Uh, this was with my Eggs Benedict recipe. So I'm gonna just 
quickly heat this and then I'll be right back. We'll see how these taste. Maybe they won't be so dry with the Hollandaise on it. Okay, so there you go. You can see that it has softened and it's starting to melt a little bit over top of the salmon. And uh, let's see if that helps this salmon along. Sometimes when you uh, have something, uh, you have to eat it anyways, because uh, I don't like to waste the money. Mm. It's good. Mm. The sauce definitely saves the day here. So that's my dinner. Um, I am, I'm eating smaller amounts of protein. So I, that was three ounces of protein. And uh, I am, you know, going to be eating that pad of butter as well as the hollandaise. So this should be about 80-20. I will have to go figure out the macros um, because it doesn't have the nice uh, fatty skin on it. But uh, then later for dinner, or not for dinner, before bed, I'll be eating what I call my bedtime butter, which is usually either one of these or um, some tallow bites that I made. They're in the freezer. And I have that before bed, and, and that's this, this is it. Um, I find the high fat meals, they look small, but they are super satisfying and I'm really loving it. So I will put a graphic uh, up, up on the screen there of, of the macros. Uh, thank you for watching this video and I hope that uh, gave, gives you some meal ideas and I'll put all the links below for anything that was relevant. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. My glasses might be dirty. But I'll clean them for the next segment.